In this lesson, we're going to look at how to graph a linear equation using the intercepts. And I also want to make sure that, or in order to be able to do that, we have to know the steps to finding the intercepts from an equation. So first of all, let's talk about, uh, make sure your central question is written down and your notebook is set up. And let's talk about intercepts. Hopefully we remember that intercept, or we know that intercept means to cross through. So an x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis. And so on this graph up here, this right here would be my x-intercept. Now really important to know about the x-intercept. We know that what value is always zero this point, no matter where it is, what value is always zero? It is the y value. So any x-intercept, we're going to have an x value, and then the y value would be zero. But for the y-intercept, that is obviously where the graph crosses the y-axis. So right here, and I meant, sorry, I meant to label this. This is our y-intercept, and at the y-intercept, what value is always zero? Hopefully you said the x value. So for our y-intercept, that point will always be zero comma whatever the y number is. Okay, very, very, very important. Now the intercepts, the x and y-intercept, can be really helpful to get a quick sketch of a graph if the equation is in what we call standard form. Now it doesn't have to be in standard form um, to graph it using x-intercepts, but it's definitely easier. Standard form of a linear equation is ax plus by equals c. A, x and y are on the same side, a, b, and c are numbers. So, so far all we've talked about is slope-intercept form and this is another form of our linear equation that we need to be familiar with. Okay, so if we're going to graph this using um, our x and y intercept, the first thing we have to be able to do is find those intercepts. So to find, here's our equation, Standard form, x and y are on the same side. To find our x-intercept, we're going to plug in what for y? What do we know about the x-intercept? The y value is always what? Zero. So we're going to plug in zero for y, and we're going to solve our equation for x. So I'm going to kind of, so to find my x-intercept, I'm going to take my equation, I'm going to replace the y with 0, and now I'm just going to solve it. Basically what happens is this becomes 0, so you could almost just cover it up because it's 0, 4x equals 12, and so my x-intercept is 3. Remember that coordinate would be 3, 0. Okay, so now to find our y-intercept, because this is not in slope-intercept form, it's not quite as quick and easy, although a little bit. To find our y-intercept, this time we're still going to plug in 0, but we're going to plug it in for x and solve for y. So to find your intercepts, you just have to plug 0 in for the opposite variable. So it looks something like this. And now I'm going to solve it. Okay. And that would mean that y equals negative 6. That coordinate would be negative 6, 0. And I'm stressing that it's a coordinate because one mistake we make is we try to put the intercepts together as one point. And they're not. See, these are two separate points. 
Okay, so now we can quickly get a sketch of our graph by plotting those two points. We have three zero, oops, one, two, three, is that three? Yep, three zero, which is right there. And then we have negative six zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we draw our linear line. So it's not a perfect, I mean, that is an accurate graph. Um, sometimes we need the slope to help us graph and get um, a few more points so we can read it better. But that definitely gives us a quick sketch and picture of our graph. And that's it. That's how you graph with your intercept. I want to look at um, one more equation together on just finding the intercepts to make sure we're clear on that. Okay. So remember to find our x-intercept. We're going to plug 0 in for y. So 3x plus 2 times 0 equals negative 24. So basically that's going away. We get 3x equals negative 24, and we get that our x-intercept is negative 8. That coordinate would be negative 8, 0. Okay. And then for our y-intercept, and again, I'm just kind of drawing these lines to make sure we know these are two separate things. Our y-intercept, this time we're going to plug 0 in for x. So 3 times 0 plus 2y equals negative 24. That would be 2y equals negative 24. y equals negative 12. And so my coordinate would be 0, negative 12. Okay. I want you to for, do this next one on your own for your entrance ticket tomorrow. Be ready to answer this, so I want you to take this equation, negative 6x plus 2y equals 36, and I want you to find the intercepts. And be ready to look at that when we get back.